Hello and welcome to another episode of Optics Trade Debates that we film here at our headquarters. Uh, I'm Andras. My name is Theodor. And today we're going to be answering another uh, commonly asked question which regards the types of binoculars 8x42 and 10x42 configurations. Here we have the 8x42 configuration and here we have binoculars from the 10x42 configuration uh, range. Um, what we commonly receive questions from our customers is what are the differences between mm. these two? Well, we receive really a lot of questions regarding what should I choose, 8x42 or 10x42. The reason for it is that there is the biggest selection of binoculars in these two configurations. This is, I would say, almost a class of its own, 8x42 binoculars, 10x42 binoculars, really the most common. So every manufacturer is trying to... Yeah. Every manufacturer has yeah. at least one model of, of each configuration. And on the other hand, for the, for the users, it's also very positive because in these two configurations you get the most quality for your money. Because the competition is so hard, everybody tries to, to produce uh, best possible 10x42 and 8x42 binoculars. Uh, and this is then, then we come, okay, people know I would like to have a really high quality binocular or a good binocular for my money. Uh, and then they come to the choice between 8x42 and 10x42. The main difference is that uh, uh, is in the use, which use you are going to, for which use you are, uh, you are needing the binoculars. This is the main difference. For low light, if you're a hunter, uh, you, if you're a novice user, 8x42 is definitely the better choice. And this reason, the reason behind it is because 8x42 is a little bit brighter, it has wider field of view and uh, the shaking of the hands is less visible. 10x42 is more for daytime use and for experts, for those who are already used to, to handling binoculars and those which wish to gain more resolution with higher magnification to have a, a better sharpness of the image but they can compensate the, the shaking and they can compensate that the binoculars will not be as good in low light as the 8x42. So you pointed out that the 10x42 is better for daytime use, meaning that 8x42 is better in twilight. Yeah, better. So if a hunter um, is willing to hunt in the twilight or in dusk, it better. this is a better choice. Yeah, it's because of the exit pupil. You know, the exit pupil in 8x42 is roughly 5.3 mm. So the exit pupil is calculated by dividing the, the diameter the of the diameter objective lens with the magnification. magnification. Okay. So here we have uh, 5.25, I think, and here we have uh, 4.2. 4 yes. It's only one millimeter of difference, but the surface, so the surface, the, 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 the surface of the light which comes to your, uh, to your eye is more than 20% bigger. So that means that these binoculars are much brighter. The, the impression of the image is much brighter and they perform much better in low light. Uh, with 10 by 42, with smaller exit pupil, normally in, in, in twilight, you're a little bit on, on the short side. You, it's, so during it daytime, you won't time. notice any differences, but no. in the twilight, this will perform much better. Yeah, that's a simple and short answer. Yeah, so uh, uh, let's move on to the, another question. So uh, in the, for a novice in the field of binoculars, mm -hmm. you would probably recommend this configuration, of, am I right? Yeah, if you're buying the first pair of binoculars, again, 8x42 is better. Not only because it's brighter, it also offers a wider field of view, because lower the magnification, you get a wider field of view, and it's more comfortable, because you have a bigger exit pupil. So even in daytime, when your pupil of the eye contracts to, let's say, 2 millimeters or something like that, you have far more of the surface of the exit pupil and the binoculars where your eye can be positioned to get a clear image. And that means that even if your position behind the binoculars is not completely accurate, you will still get an image. While with a 10 by 42 you will have to position your eye more accurately into the axis, optical axis of, uh, of each tube. And that means that if you're a novice user, first of all, 8 by 42 will be more comfortable because of the um, because of the bigger uh, exit pupil uh, it will less affect you to see the shaking because uh, uh, you have to be an expert user to, to really have a steady grip and without any shaking to, to use the binoculars with 8x42 they are more forgiving 
even if you shake a little bit, it's easier to to get uh, to get along with than with Tamba 42. And uh, the next and the last thing for the novices, if you're using glasses or without glasses, 8x42 binoculars usually have a, a longer eye relief. So that means that your eye can be positioned a little bit further away from the uh, eyepiece lens. These are all advantages in terms of ease of use and uh, how comfortable the binoculars are. So in short, for uh, if you for dusk use, these are better. Yeah. They're also more comfortable. They sure. offer a wider field of view. Mm -hmm. um, so with 10 by 42, you get much more details. You get less field of view, and your image won't be as bright in. Yeah. In, in so basically, it's a trade-off. Better resolution, better all the factors you already mentioned: field of view, brightness. Um, the size of the exit pupil and so on. Counter, uh, counter so it's use. up to the purpose of use. That's true. Yeah. I think that we covered the most important facts regarding these two major categories of as regards the magnification uh, in the field of binoculars. If we forgot something, uh, be so kind to leave a comment in the comment section or send us an email. And uh, if you like the video, also subscribe to our YouTube channel. And see you next time. Bye. Bye bye.